Hi guys, my name is Tara and today I'll be showing you how to set page margins and tabs using the ruler bar in Microsoft Word 2007. So first off we're just going to open our Word document. You're going to get a screen similar to this one depending which version you're using. 2007 again is the version that I'm using so your screen should be the exact same. Okay, so in order to set tabs and margins using the ruler bar, we need to make sure that the ruler bar is enabled. And as you can see, I do not have it enabled right now. There are two ways to do this. You can either go click the view ruler button, which is above your right scroll bar. This will enable the ruler for you, as you can see. Otherwise, click it again to disable it. And we can go to the view tab near the top center of the screen, click it, and then go check the ruler box and that will also enable the ruler for you. Okay, so how do we set margins using the new ruler bar that we just enabled? Let, first, let's type some text so we can see how it changes when we change the margins. Okay, so in order to change the left margin, you're just gonna go to the horizontal ruler bar with your cursor and place it between the blue and the white space until you get this double arrow. There you go. And you're just gonna click and drag either to the left or to the right in order to reposition your left margin. And as you can see, the text I had written had moved to the new position that I just placed my margin at. To move the right margin, you're just going to go to the other side of the horizontal ruler bar, the right side, if you will, between the white and the blue space. You're going to place your cursor until you get this double arrow. And you're going to click and you're either going to drag to the right or drag to the left, and this is going to move your right margin. To change the top and bottom margins, we're going to go to the vertical ruler bar now, which is located at the left of your screen over here. You're going to place your mouse in between the white and the blue space, as you can see, it says top margin, we have the double arrow, and you're just gonna click and drag either up or down, and this is gonna change the top margin for you. And as you can see, the text that I had written has now moved to my new top margin placement. Now we're just gonna scroll to the bottom of the page in order to change the bottom margin. So you're gonna place your cursor once more in between the white and the blue space. You'll see the double arrow, it lights up with bottom margin. You click and you can drag up or you can drag down and this is gonna change the position of the bottom margin for you. I'm just gonna scroll back up to the top of the page so we can begin tabs. Now, Microsoft Office Word 2007 offers five tabs for you. We have the left, the center, the right, decimal and bar tabs. So how do those work and how do I get them on the screen? Well, you're gonna move your cursor above the vertical ruler bar and you're gonna see this um, button with what looks like an L in it and this is the tab styles button. Right now it is set to left tab. So in order to place a left tab, we're just gonna go to the horizontal ruler bar and place it anywhere, anywhere you like and click and that's gonna position the left tab for you. In order to do something with it, we're gonna hit tab on your keyboard and that's gonna put you to the left tab stop you just placed on your ruler. Now if I type some text, it just places the text to the right of the left tab stop that you just placed on the ruler bar. And it doesn't matter the length of the text, it's always gonna go to the right of your left tab stop. Okay, how do we remove this now? You're just gonna click on the left tab stop that you placed on the ruler bar, and you're gonna drag it back to the tab styles button. Okay, in order to change the tab style, you're just gonna click on the button, and now we're gonna have the center tab. And we're going to place that anywhere on the ruler bar again by clicking. And in order to use the center tab, we're going to hit tab on the keyboard. And that's going to bring us to where you place your center tab stop. Now I'm just going to write some text so we can see what happens. As you can see, the center tab style stop that you placed positions the sentence of text that you wrote directly in the middle of your tab stop. Again, it doesn't matter the length. 
of text that you write, it's still going to center it exactly in the middle of the tab stop that you placed. Okay, so let's remove the center tab stop by clicking it and dragging and dropping back to the tab style button. Click once more, that would be the third tab style option we now have, is the right tab style. You're going to place that anywhere on the ruler bar and you're going to hit tab in order to get to the tab stop that you just placed. I'm just going to type some text. As you can see, when you place the right tab style, it's just going to position all of your text to the left of it. And once more, and it's going to align it along the right tab stop that you placed. All right, so let's remove that and move on to the next tab style, which is decimal. Same thing, you're going to place it anywhere on the ruler bar you like by clicking and you're going to hit tab in order to get to the tab stop that you just placed. And this time we're going to punch in any decimal number that you can think of. Once more, we're going to do three. And as you can see, any number that you punch in, it does not matter how many values are on the left of the decimal or how many values are on the right, it's going to align the decimal points along the decimal tab stop that you placed on the ruler. Okay, so we're going to remove that tab stop and move on to the final one, which is the bar style tab. Now what's going to happen when I position the bar style tab on the ruler bar is it's going to create a vertical bar parallel to where my cursor is on the page. So let's just watch that happen. I'm going to click on this area of the ruler bar and place a bar style tab. And as you can see directly below it, parallel to my cursor, it has placed a vertical bar. And in order to remove that, same thing, drag and drop in the tab style option. And it has now removed the vertical bar as I have removed the vertical bar stop I placed on the ruler. In order to get back to the left tab style, we're just going to go to the tab styles button and we're going to click through these two indent options, which we won't be covering today. And you're going to return to the left tab style. Okay, just to recap, this was how to set margins and tabs using the ruler bar. And there are five types of tabs, as you can see on the screen. We did the left style tab, the center tab style, the right tab style, the decimal tab style, and we had a vertical bar on there, which removed once I removed the tab stop. Thanks, guys.